Hello everyone, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gisela. In this video of polynomials, we shall take up two types of questions. In the first question, we are going to find out whether the given expression is a polynomial or not. And in the second question, we are going to write the polynomials in standard form and also mention their degrees. Now, before starting with the questions, let us first recapitulate some important concepts related to polynomials, which we have already discussed in previous video also. But let us just recapitulate them over here also. So, the first point is the difference between the algebraic expression and the polynomials. So, according to it, all polynomials are algebraic expressions, but all algebraic expressions are not polynomials. So, for an algebraic expression to be a polynomial, it must not have a variable inside the radical symbol, it must not have a negative exponent, it must not have a fractional exponent in the variable. So, we have to take care of these three things to differentiate between algebraic expression and a polynomial. First is the variable should not be in a radical symbol that means it should not be in the root form and then it should not be raised to power uh, any negative sign that is negative exponent and then it should not be raised to power any fraction or a rational number. Further we have standard form of a polynomial when the terms of the polynomial are written in decreasing order of the power of variable it is called the polynomial in standard form. Decreasing power means we have to uh, write from the higher power to the lower power. So that is known as the decreasing order and uh, when we write the terms of the polynomial in decreasing order of the power, it is known as the polynomial in standard form. Now we come to degree of a polynomial. The highest power of the variable in a polynomial in one variable is called the degree of the polynomial. That means to find the degree of the polynomial, we have to look for the highest power of the variable in that polynomial. And then we can uh, say that the degree is the highest power. Now let us start with the first question. It is given find out whether the given expressions is a polynomial or not. If not, give reasons. So let us start the first part. 5x cubed minus 4x square plus half. So yes, it's a polynomial as the powers of x are positive integers. Like x has the power 3 and 2 and they are positive. So it's a polynomial. Second one, root 3 z square minus 5 square root of z plus 6. So no, it is not a polynomial as the power of z is a fraction. In the exponential form, it is written as z plus 6 raised to power half. Third case, let us take 6x raised to power 4 plus 2 by 3x cube minus 3 by 4x square minus 1. Now all the powers of x are positive integers that is 4, 3, 2. So yes, it's a po polynomial as powers are positive integers. Now the fourth part is 7x raised to power 2 by 3 minus 8x raised to power 3 by 2 plus x square. So no, it is not a polynomial as the powers are fraction over here like x is raised to power 2 by 3, x is raised to power 3 by 2. They are all fractional exponents. So it is not a polynomial. Now next is 5x minus 1 by x plus 1 by x square minus 2. So it is also not a polynomial because the power of x is negative over here. Like we have x raised to power minus 1 and x raised to power minus 2 over here. So it is also not a polynomial. Let us take the sixth part p raised to power 4 minus 3 into p cube minus p plus 1. Now over here the powers of p is positive integers. So yes, it's a polynomial as the powers, all powers of p are positive integers. Now let us move to question number two. It says write each of the following polynomials in standard form and also write down their degree. Now there are 10 parts to this question which we will solve one by one. If you observe in the first and the second part, we just have to rearrange the terms according to the highest power to lowest power that is the decreasing order and we shall get the standard form. But in parts like third, fourth and uh, fifth, sixth, we have to first simplify these brackets and then we will rearrange the terms according to the decreasing order of their powers to get the standard form. So let us start with the solution. The first question is p raised to power 6 minus 8 into p raised to power 9 plus p raised to power 7 plus 5. 
now we just have to rearrange the terms and uh, make sure that minus sign which is on the left hand side of the term will be considered of that term so like suppose minus 8 into p raised to power 9 is the highest power we shall start with that so we'll write minus 8 into p raised to power 9 plus p raised to power 7 plus p raised to power 6 plus 5 now this is our standard form and since the highest power is 9 so we can say the degree is 9 now let us take up the second part we have 4z cube minus 3z5 plus 2z4 plus z plus 1. Now we just have to rearrange it. So while rearranging, let us uh, start with the uh, power which is the highest, uh, which we will write first. Like over here, we can observe that minus 3z raised to power 5 is the highest power. So we shall start with that. We shall write minus 3z raised to power 5 plus 2 into z raised to power 4 plus 4 into z cube plus z and plus 1. So over here the highest power is 5 so the degree is 5. Now in the third part we are given two binomials that is x plus 2 by 3 into x plus 3 by 4. Now we shall simplify these two binomials using the concept of binomial into binomial. So we shall write x in bracket x plus 3 by 4 plus 2 by 3 in bracket x plus 3 by 4. Now further we shall simplify the brackets by opening them. We shall write x into x is x square. x into 3 by 4 is 3 by 4 x. Then 2 by 3 into x is 2 by 3 x. And uh, 2 by 3 into 3 by 4 will uh, come half as 3 and 3 will get cancelled and 2 will cancel 4 and we'll get half over here. Now further we will simplify the middle two terms which are x uh, uh, that is 3 by 4 x plus 2 by 3 x. So that we will uh, solve by taking LCM. LCM of 3 and 4 will be 12 and further we shall get uh, 3 into 3 is 9 and 4 twos are is 8 and so 17 x by 12 we will get. So further we will write x square plus 17x upon 12 plus half. Now this is already in standard form because the power uh, first term has the power 2 and uh, second term has the power 1 and the uh, last term that is the constant has the power 0. So the, this is the standard form that is x square plus 17x by 12 plus half and so the degree is 2 because the highest power of x is 2. Now let us take a fourth part. It is again binomial into binomial. So, uh, that is x square minus 2 by 3 into x square plus 4 by 3. So we shall multiply both. We shall write x square in bracket x square plus 4 by 3 minus 2 by 3 in bracket x square plus 4 by 3. Now we shall open the brackets and multiply uh, each term like x square into x square we will get x raised to power 4 x square into 4 by 3 will we shall get 4 by 3 x square then further minus 2 by 3 into x square is a 2 by 3 x square then minus 2 by 3 into 4 by 3 we shall get minus 8 by 9 because 4 into 2 is 8 and 3 into 3 is 9. Now we shall solve the middle two terms by taking LCM. So 3 is the LCM already and 4 minus 2 we will get 2. So we shall write the next step as x raised to power 4 plus 2 into x square upon 3 minus 8 by 9. So this is already in standard form because we are starting from the highest power to the lowest power. It is already in decreasing order. So this is the standard form and the highest power is 4. So we shall say the degree is 4. Now let us take up the fifth part. It is again binomial into binomial that is z square plus 5 into z square minus 6. Now we shall multiply. We shall write z square in bracket z square minus 6 plus 5 into uh, z square minus 6. Now we shall open the brackets. We shall uh, multiply z square into z square is z raised to power 4 and then z square into minus 6 will be minus 6 z square then 5 into z square will be 5 z square and 5 into minus 6 will be minus 30. Now further we will solve the middle two brackets uh, that is z square and we shall write z raised to power 4 minus z square because minus 6 and plus 5 will get minus z square so minus z square minus 30. Now this is already in standard form we have the highest power z raised to power 4 then minus z square then minus 30 and the highest power is 4 so the degree is 4. Now let us take up seventh part. It is again binomial into binomial 
we have p square plus 2 into p square plus 7. So we shall simplify it by multiplying uh, binomial into binomial and we shall write p square and in bracket p square plus 7 plus 2 in bracket p square plus 7. Now we shall simplify it by uh, opening the brackets and we shall write p square into p square is p raised to power 4. p square into 7 is 7, p square 2 into p square is 2p square and 2 into 7 is 14. Now 7p square plus 2p square is 9p square. So further we shall write p raised to power 4 plus 9p square plus 14. Now this is already in standard form also because uh, the, we are moving from the highest power to the lowest power and the highest power over here is 4. So we can say the degree is 4. Now let us take up eighth question that is 5 by 6z minus 3 by 4z square minus 2 by 3z cube plus 1. Now if you are, uh, observe over here the first term has the z power 1 then we have z square, then we have z cube and then 1 which has the power 0, z raised to power 0. Now we have to rearrange them. So first of all we will take the highest power and with the minus sign because we have minus sign over here. So minus 2 by 3 z cube then minus 3 by 4 z square plus 5 by 6 z plus 1. Now over here the highest power is 3 so the degree is 3. Now let us take up ninth part. It is given 4p plus 15p square minus p raised to power 5 plus 4p square plus 3. Now we have to rearrange the terms up from the highest power to the lowest power. So we shall start with 15p raised to power 6 then minus p raised to power 5 plus 4p square plus 4p plus 3. Now over here if you observe the highest power is 6 so the degree is 6. Now let us take up the 10th part. It is given q raised to power 10 plus q raised to power 6 minus q raised to power 4 plus q raised to power 8. Now we shall rearrange them. Highest power first to the lowest power. That means in decreasing order we have to arrange them. So we shall write q raised to power 10 plus q raised to power 8 plus q raised to power 6 minus q raised to power 4. Now since the highest power is 10, therefore we can say the degree is 10. So hope you have understood these two types of questions. Thank you everyone.